Hi, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my 97th Flustube video. Um, this is the last regular Flustube video uh, for a while uh, because I am going to be working from April 4th and the commute is long so I won't be able to film every two weeks. I'm aiming and hoping for once a month um, in the beginning at least and yeah so this is the last video uh, you will see from me uh, before I am changing up my filming schedule as you will um, thank you so much for joining me thank you for returning to my videos if you are returning and if you are new uh, thank you so much for tuning in I really hope you would uh, like to stay and subscribe to my channel um, first off I would like to say a big thank you to Vicky Vicky thank you so much for your buy me a coffee or Kofi because I don't do buy me a coffee anymore I do Kofi uh, the link is in the description box um, you're not obligated to use it but if you would like to support me and my channel you can using that link um, Vicky, thank you so much for buying me the coffees. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, you won one of my previous giveaways, uh, which, by the way, th both of you who won my last giveaway, um, they are out since last Friday. I sent them out. But what I realized was that you were in the same area both you, Vicky, and um, what was the other name? <laughs> Diane. You both were in the same area. So that's, do you know each other? That's, that would be great. Um, yeah, but those giveaways are out the door and I hope they arrive soon and you will enjoy them. Then I am going to show you a fully finished object. I fully finished one and I am going to show you my whips works in progress and I am going to give you some shout outs and then it's going to be a short one this time um, I was going to be at Alice's hi Alice I was going to be at her house today we were going to have a day of fully finishing and filming together and but because I have to go back to work in a week and a half and I have a bit of a head cold right now and Alice as well we both decided it was not we wouldn't take any chances of me getting sick before I need to get to work so no Alice this time hopefully next month somewhere we will be together and we will film together but for now you will have to do with me I'm going to show you my fully finished object I finished this, started this, finished this for my bonus son, Simon. He really likes Marvel. I believe it's Marvel, but correct me if I'm wrong. I am not, I don't have any knowledge. <laughs> so um, I charted this from a uh, picture from the internet uh, Simon really liked. I charted this and I discarded the pattern immediately after I finished it so and this is it fully finished I love it this frame is perfect for it this is green arrow stitched on 25 count fabric Lugana 1 over 1 full cross it was charted as a full coverage design but the background was all white and I left that off so yeah it's just a cheap frame from the action which is a dutch sort of hobby lobby store and yeah love how this turned out so i can give this to simon finally <laughs> so that's my fully finished object then onto the whips in my Beautiful project bag, Diane, Frog and Fudge made. I'm, I'm sorry about noises. I didn't iron anything. I didn't 
open any zippers so it's going to be it's going to be noisy i have been working on feast of friendship by blackbird designs i started this on stitch mania 2020 and yeah it, it was long overdue working on it and I am going to show you what I have so far. Not much because that blue house, oh my goodness. <laughs> I finished the blue part of the house and I am working my way on the roof. I really love how this looks. This is stitched on 36 count Legacy by Picture This Plus using a mix of stash overdights. And yeah. I really love how this looks. I am not sure if I'm going to stitch everything. I am finishing the house, of course, and I think I am going to stitch only the first page of the pattern because it's divided in two and I'm going to leave off the border. That's what I think right now. But I really, really, really love how this looks. That's Feast of Friendship. The next whip is in this beautiful bag we got, the Stitch Kateers got from Alice, which was a gift for our Stitch Along, which is in here. I'm going to show you. Which is Mini Deer Creek by Heaven and Earth Designs artist is Donna Gelsinger. This is our Stitch Kateers Friendship Stitch Along, which is called hashtag Dear Friends Cell. And we are working on it every other Friday when we Zoom and Stitch or Google Meet and Stitch because we don't use Zoom. <laughs> um, I had this on my scroll frame but I decided to take it off and work in all the parked threads because I am done parking so to speak. I'm going to show you what I have so far. This is what I have. I am so in love with this. I love how this looks. I am currently at 13.87% and I did a total of 1353 stitches in the last couple of weeks. And I work on it maybe one or two days every other week. So, but I love this. This is stitched on 25 count Lugana Easy Grid 1 over 1 full cross with the called for DMCs. It's just like a photo, right? And tonight I'm going to be working on it because we are going to Zoom and Stitch or Google Meet and Stitch, <laughs> however you want to call it. The next project is in this laptop bag from the Action, which is handy. And this one was long overdue since I decided I wasn't going to um, I wasn't going to stick to the 22 projects in 2022 anymore. I decided <coughs> sorry that means I can work on this one again, which is pandemic by long dog samplers. I really love this. just make some room for it and I need to fold it because it's hard to show you well maybe <coughs> it's a very big piece of fabric this is what I have so far 
this is the overall look. And I'm going to show you up close what I did. Just give me one minute or less. <laughs> um, let me show you what I did. I finished off this row and I added this part, this corner. I really love this. I am currently at 18.19% and I did a total of 1784 stitches. And I love this. This is stitched on 32 count platinum Murano by Swigert with five DMCs. I'm going to show you which colors I use and I will list them below because I always get that question. I use 4025, which is a Caribbean variegated by DMC. I use 3765. I use 561, which is a green. 3750 and 3799, which is gray. And I need to put some new flosses on the bobbins or the floss drops. But here's how it looks. And yes, the colors matches. The colors are matching my needle minder. The needle minder is from Lydia, Lovely Stitches, one of the stitch -cateers. She has an Etsy shop and she sells needle minders. And I, I uh, took the colors from this needle minder to stitch. So that's pandemic. The next project is in this wonderful pink project bag, which I received as a gift from Michelle Mama Loves You Jeepy. And I am going to show you itchy nose again. It doesn't help that I have a head cold. <laughs> this is Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. I wanted to say Blackbird Designs, but that's not it. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I have so far. This is what I have. Overall look. I stitched in the rooftop and I stitched in all the pink. And I need to add one story. Is it called story? One layer to the house. <laughs> I'm going to show you up close because I am using my own DMC conversion, which I will link in the communi community page on YouTube. So you can always access it. And I have linked it several times on Instagram, creativelyyours.2. And one of the DMCs I am using, I overdyed, which is the pink. And I hope it will show up. It's a little bit, let me just fold it again. It's a little bit variegated and I really love how this looks. It's a very pale pink, which is 819. And I overdyed it with a little bit darker pink. This is stitched on 32 count fog lifter blend by r, &R and I am using the DMCs I converted. And the hashtag for this one is Sweewee Rose Manor Cell with Lydia, lovely stitches. Um, yeah. Next project. 
I really, really, really enjoyed working on this one. I'm going to show you. I have worked on it for five days straight, I think. I couldn't, I couldn't just let it go. It's got a secret. Artwork by Chris Ortega, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I love this. And if you think it's just a beautiful lady, then you're wrong because it's true fantasy. It's, um, well, I will show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Let me just fold over my fabric because otherwise it's hard to show you. Look at this, this first flower. It has an eye in it and there are several of these in the pattern there are spiders in the pattern creepy details i really 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 love this i've done a lot i have almost completed my first page i cropped the design because it was too big for me so i took out um, the left row and the bottom row so I am currently at 24.85% and I did a total of 2668 stitches. And this is stitched on 25 count Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. But I love this. I love, love, love this. And I can't wait to get back to this one. Even though I just stopped stitching on this one. It's just, this is my kind of pattern. Then, last Sunday, I thought it was time again to, put, to take this one out. Which is Night Fairy by Lenarte. Which was a kit several years ago, a lot of years ago. It doesn't come as a kit anymore, but you can you can buy the patterns in a booklet by Leisure Arts. And I believe it's on Amazon. I am stitching this with Stephanie, the on point stitcher, Alice, hi Alice, uh, Diane Frog and Fudge, and Jemima, the rocking stitcher. And we started out with stitching on it every Sunday, but I realized I don't want to be stitching on something I have to stitch on. So I am not stitching on it every Sunday, but I from time to time will take it out. And last Sunday I did. This is how it looks. I started working on the right wing. If that's your right, I am not sure. <laughs> I am going to, I have worked on this part. This is all kit fabric and kit floss. And yeah, the hashtag for the Sunday piece is hashtag Sunday night fairy cell. And yeah. If you want to join, you can. Really, really enjoy stitching on this one. Then I decided I wanted to work on my own full coverage design, which I charted and it's a free pattern. Um, if you look up the link in the description box of video number, I believe 87 or 78, Either one of them. Uh, there is a link to this pattern I will show you. This project bag was a gift from Angel R. Saunders. We all, the Stitch Kateers, received this. And this was made especially by Diane of Frog and Fudge here on Flosstube and Instagram. This was made especially uh, to, um, yeah, how do I call this? It was made because of my pattern. I will show you my pattern. Yeah. 
And this one too, I'm going to show you. This is fall in Amsterdam. The picture is taken by my sister at the Hortus Botanicus in Amsterdam. And I asked her if I could chart this and she said yes. So I charted this and it's a free pattern. It uses 150 colors of DMC. And it is 300 by 397 stitches. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's very confetti heavy, but I love it. This one too, I decided to stitch in all the part threads and I did. I'm going to show you what I have done so far. This is what I have. Excuse the hoop marks. But I love how this looks. I am currently at 3.09% and I did a total of 1023 stitches. And this is stitched on 25 counts, one over one, full cross. And yeah, look at this. The details of the leaves, it's just, I love it. And when you see it grow, it, it, I don't mind the confetti as much. So that's fall in Amsterdam. And there's a hashtag for it as well, which is hashtag fall in Amsterdam sell. So if you would like to join me um, with this free pattern, you can. And I would love to see it on Instagram. And the last project I have been working on. And before I forget, this is the beautiful project bag uh, Deborah Surimini on Instagram made me, or she made and I bought on Etsy. She has an Etsy, st Etsy store where she sells project bags and needle minders, I believe. I have been working on Olga's Autumn Stocking by Plum Street Sankers. I think Plum Street is my one of my favorite designers. And I am going to show you what I did. This is what I have so far. Let me show you the whole design. I'm almost at the foot of the stocking. This is stitched on 36 count pearl by Paul Stitches and I'm using the cold for overdights. And I am going to show you what I have done. Let me fold it. I stitched in, I was at the half of this pumpkin I think. I stitched in the other half and I worked my way onto the pumpkin, pumpkin next to it, and I did these small things. And I really, really love how this looks, and I would really like to see this finished this year. And I think I can, if I set my mind to it. So those were my whips for now. Um, I only have a couple of shout outs to make and then I am done with the video. I don't have anything else. I don't have any haul as of now or happy mail or not anything. So I'm going to give you the shout outs and then I'm going to leave you to it. Um, I have been watching um, some new to me and new floss tubers and I'm going to list them below. The first one I would like to mention is Two Needles Pulling Thread, which is a duo. Those are Kathy and Missy. Those are sisters-in-law and they are, have beautiful projects. They do 
Blackbird Designs and Brenda Gervais and yeah, beautiful. Then we have Tiny House Stitcher, which is Angie. Uh, she has gorgeous projects, Real, really beautiful and up my alley. She lives in a tiny house and she shows that on Flosstube. And she's a new floss tuber and she's really natural, so you should watch her. Then we have Nightmare Before Stitchmas, and that's Maxine from the UK. She has a lot of beautiful projects as well. We have the Traveling Stocking Stitcher, which is Deb, and she is a monogamous stitcher, and she turns her projects into stockings, and she has some beautiful projects. She has uh, some mirabilias she, or, and lavender and lace. She turned into stockings, so check it out. It's beautiful. And those were my shout outs for this time around. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. I am one and a half week off still until I have to go to work. And when I am working, I I, I am not sure how much time I will get to stitch or watch floss tube. Um, yeah, we'll see. I am hopefully um, back by the end of April and uh, then we will see how I get along with work and the commute and, and everything else and the stitching only on the weekends and we'll see. But I'm excited and nervous at the same time, but excited. <laughs> So, um, yeah, wish me luck <laughs> and I hopefully will be back by the end of April. And before I forget, I asked two or three videos ago if you would like to see a patterns on parade video as well, because I showed my kitted up projects and the majority of you said, yes, of course show me your patterns. Um, I am trying to film that as well. And when I do, I will put it up there. So you have something to watch in between the weeks. You will have to wait for a regular video from me. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are doing well and feeling well. And I hope you have a wonderful stitchy time and yeah. I will see you hopefully back at the end of April. So thank you for watching. Happy stitching and bye for now. <laughs>